5v1 this is shravanti your hadoop instructor and welcome to educators.com in this module we are going to discuss about the movie lens program and we are going to see how the movie lens input file looks like in the driver class mapper class reducer class as well as the execution of the map reduce program as well with the help of our cloudera quick start vm so this is the movie lens input file looks like this consisting of four fields the first one is the user id separated with a tab by the movie id tab and then rating and then the unit time stamp so here this particular this is a 1 million data set you can download that from these uh, the attachments i have attached this particular input file which was downloaded from the grouplens.com this is the real time data which uh, you know just after watching the movie we will be rating the that particular movie in the imdb so these are all the ratings given by the user id movie id and what is the rating and which bank we have given that rating so in this we are going to process this particular movie lens information file and we are going to find out the average movie rating for the individual movie so if you see this 242 is the movie id over here the rating is 3 which was given by the user 196 but some other user also can come in and he can rate the same 242 movie as a four star rating that means in this example we are going to find out the average movie rating for this purpose we must require three classes one is the driver class mapper class and the reducer class this movie lens driver class also similar to your uh, word count or driver class itself then where exactly differs is nothing but the jar by class name and the job name whatever the job name which you are mentioning over here as part of your job history server you can see this particular name and also you have to specify your mapper name and the reducer class where we are going to write our mapper program as it also the reducer program and if you see here this file input format and output format is same like your word count whatever the input file which you are giving it we are reading it that input file with the help of the file input format and this output format is for the output directory and if you observe your uh, output key class and the value class these things are nothing but why i have given the float writable is nothing but the movie average rating can be a float number that means i have given a 3 star and somebody else has given a 4 star for the same movie so 3 plus 4 that is a 7 by 2 that is 3.5 is average rating for that movie that is the reason why you can specify that as a float that means it is a float writable and whatever the key class is there either you can read this as a integers this movie id or else you can even have it as a text anything is fine so here i am considering it as a text that is a string right so wait for completion as we have in the discuss about all of these things when this statement executed this gets submitted the program gets submitted to the cluster and so in this particular driver class we are mentioning all the details like what is the mapper class what is the reducer class and what is the data types of the key and the value all of these things which we will be specifying here and in the mapper class what we are going to do is we are going to first of all we must need to extend the mapper class and override the map method similar to your word count but where exactly which code differs is nothing but these are the lines which changes so if you if you observe this the mapper these data types this is a input key and value data type this is the output key and value data type for the individual mappers as we know that the long writable is nothing but this is the 
byte offset and the entire line. So here we will be giving it as a byte offset and the entire line as a text. So first of all if you see this, this is consisting of a text but if you wanted to use any of the string tokenizer or split methods which are belongs to the Java, we must need to convert that into the string. That is the reason why with the help of the value dot to string, we converted this particular text to the string. And then we are splitting it up. Why we are using the line dot split is nothing but here if you remember if you see our input file, our input file is all the fields are separated by the tab like a user ID tab, movie ID tab. So that is the reason why we are splitting it up with the help of the flash key. Let's assume your input file is a comma separated one. Then you have to specify line, line dot split of space or line dot split of comma. Like that based upon the how exactly your input file is look, looks like the same way which you need to mention. And once you have done this particular splitting, what you have to do is use the context dot write because if you wanted to emit anything we must require the context dot write of what are all the things we are emitting parts of one. Parts of one is nothing but it starts with the parts of 0, 0 is the user ID and the parts of 1 is the movie ID. So here we will be having the movie ID and here we will be having your rating, movie rating parts of 2 is nothing but why I am converting into the float is nothing but even you can use the int writable as well. But here it is a text. How should I convert my string or text to the float or uh, integer is nothing but Either you can use the, this is the Java method called a float dot parse float or you can also use the integer dot parsing. The purpose of that is to convert your string to the integer or string to the float. Once you convert, what we can do, we can, as it accepts only the Hadoop data types, we are converting that into the float writable or int writables, whatever. So in simple words, in the mapper class, what we are doing here is we are reading the line by line and we are converting into the string and we are splitting it up with the help of the slash key. And to process this, I only require a movie ID and the rating. So I'm simply taking this movie ID and the rating from here and emitting these two values. So in the red user, what I can do is I can simply find out the summation and then finding out the average. See this in the reducer class, we are extending the reducer and we are overriding the reduce method and inside the reduce method we are using the for loop because in between this we will be having the shuffle and sort and based upon that a single key can consisting of a multiple values. So to navigate across the multiple values I am having this particular for loop. And here to find out the average, first of all I have to find out the sum. So I am just finding out the sum with the help of the sum is equal sum plus value dot get and implementing the counters because to identify how many times it is doing the summation so that whatever the sum I got here, I can find out the average is sum by how many number of the total number of the, you know, the keys are available like with the help of the count. So that is nothing but if two users has given a rating, same rating for a movie, B rating and 4 rating, that is 3 plus 4 is a 7 by 2, that is 3.5 is the rating. Alright. So that is how you will be finding out the average and whatever you wanted to omit, you must need to omit with the help of the context dot write P and value. The key is nothing but my movie ID and the value is nothing but my average rating, whatever we got. So this is how you can find out your red user class. So let me show you how we can execute this program with the help of your Cloudera Quick Start VM. And I have just logged into my Cloudera Quick Start VM and opened the key. So here Click on your training and create or three separate classes. You can remove the package if it is not required and give a name like mobile and 
movie set or movie lens, whatever the name. This is the driver class and name. And also you can also do the mapper and also the reducer classes. See here, I have created a movie lens, movie lens mapper, movie lens reducer. These three are the classes which we have created. So what we need to do, we just need to copy the content, whatever uh, uh, you know I have attached to this particular recording. You can just go into the driver class and paste those things. So as I have shown you here, the driver class consisting of your mapper and the reducer details and also the output of PN value data type. In the mapper class, as we have seen, we extended the mapper override this map method with the help of the split we have with these things and we have emitted the movie ID and also the rating where in case in the reducer we have find out the sum and calculated the average over here. So to execute this program just save this and we need to export those things into the jar. Export Java jar file. And we can simply mention a movie lens dot jar. If you wanted to keep it in a place like on a home cloud era, you can even mention that movie lens dot jar which we have uh, created. Done. If you have any warning, you can ignore. If you, until and unless if you have any errors, then we need to check in look into those things, otherwise you can ignore. So into this recording I attach the new dot data file. So you can directly copy the data file on top of your screen. You can directly drag and drop from your machine, your Windows machine or Mac, whatever. It will come here. New dot data is the file. So this consisting of all the you know the data information like a movie ID. This is a 1 million data set which consisting of all the movie IDs, user IDs and the ratings and the timestamps, that kind of the information. Just trying to open in that uh, file. See here, user ID, movie ID, rating and the timestamp, these are all the chat separated ones. So what we need to do before processing any of these things, we must need to load this particular file into our Hadoop distributed file system. For that, open the terminal. And then this particular UDA data file is there on the desktop. If you wanted to go there, right? This is on your desktop. You can see this UDA data file. So let's copy into the Hadoop with the help of our copy from local command. And if you wanted to know where exactly this path is, you can directly give the present working directory. Now you can give your Hadoop SS. Copy from local, home, cloudera, desktop, and here new dot data is the file which you are having it. And where you wanted to push it, I wanted to push it into my movie lens. Input some HDFS or you can give any of any of any of the file name, whatever uh, you know you like. So it will be placing that UDA data file into the Hadoop distributed file system so that we can execute our Hadoop jar command with the help of that. This is done. If you wanted to see the content, you can even put SS cat and you can even see the content of the file. It displays those 1 million records. This is the, so it was placed successfully, that particular file. We are all set to execute our jar, Hadoop jar. What is the jar file name? Jar file name is the movie lens dot jar. And if you see the driver class, you can open your uh, Eclipse and you can see the driver class is movie lens. 
question. This is the driver class, and if you see the input file, just now we have uh, placed the input file saying that movie lens input is GFS. And what is the output directory? Let's just enter the output directory as movie lens output directory one or whatever. So it will submit the job to the cluster. Okay, not a valid job. Yeah. So where we are right now? Our jar is as part of our movie lens jar. Yeah. Now it gets executed. I was trying to execute it from the desktop, so it was showing that error. So now execute the same thing. Hadoop jar movie lens dot jar. Movie lens is the driver class that is the input file and the output directory. And here our job was submitted and we can see the status as well and the job is completed successfully. If you wanted to see the output, you can just go here and see what is the output file which we have given. That is a movie lens output directory. So let's just do ls. That means listing of that file so that we can open that part file from there. Yeah. So Hadoop FS cat and this is the movie lens output directory one slash. It display you the average rating of all the movies whatever we are having it. So this is how you can uh, execute your program. Your half of the problem gets solved once you identify what is your key and what is your value. So here my key is the movie ID and my value is my your rating. This is how you can find it out. And here, so in this module we have seen how your movie lens input file looks like and what driver class consisting of and related to the mappers. In the mapper, we instead of using the string tokenizer, we have used the split method to read that specific field and then we have used the summation and then sum by count that is what we calculated the final average of an individual movie rating. Thank you. In the next module we are going to learn about the combiners. See you in the next module.